Hi, welcome on my uh, Linux Mint. This is still Linux Mint, and I just want to show you quickly how it looks. So this is the successful installation of uh, Linux Mint on a different machine, an i7 with uh, 4.81 and NVIDIA drives as well. NVIDIA settings report, detector installer settings maybe. Xconfig settings probably. Does it say something? Yep, it says something 3.6.7.57. So it's not actually from the repos, it's really coming straight from NVIDIA drivers. And um, that makes it interesting since there were problems. I have now a new category here where I put everything that's uh, concerned with the hardware. So there is the latest NVIDIA driver on Linux Mint that just works now. Very happy to have uh, to, to be able to run here the latest kernel on this machine and together with an NVIDIA driver. So this is what you're looking at is um, Linux Mint, but it's i3, so we can log off and log in back uh, with i3. We had to change some things. I've uh, written it here on the, in the article. Um, hold on back, and there you see that the monitors have changed. Uh, new name, new new devices. So okay, so two new name names. So you should should change. Whoa. You should change also here the config file. So I did that, and the last thing I had to do, so only two uh, things to do, is a keyboard. He thought I was working on a QWERTY, but I am working on a XERTY. So that's changed with this little code here, and now no troubles anymore. Everything is running as it should be. So this is our Windows or file manager, which is Nemo under Linux Mint. Nautilus has Ubuntu. That's also possible installing i3 under Ubuntu. And that's it. This is what you get when you are logged on in i3. There are other movies as well. You can go to Linux i3 and then you have a whole bunch of i3 tutorials. I think over 20 tutorials to really go into detail of the config file, which is this one, the most important one. And all the rest is just nice if you uh, grow into the system into i3 okay um, enjoy i3 on linux mint